guy right next to me somehow. Although you could be wrong because I'm right there. I don't see nothing. Beautiful. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Worst part. Ooh, he missed. But I'm so slow, it doesn't matter. Help! Fuck this tank. Fuck it. Guys, I think my next tank that I'm gonna do uh, maybe a compilation or live uh, non-stop editing. Right. <laughs> I mean non-stop gameplay um, might be the ASU 85. I just want to go over the quick attributes of it. What I've found is an absolute excellent gun, excellent gun for 6.7. There is very few guns better. Um, the reason I say that is it just, I one-shotted a Jag Tiger from the side. Um, I, this can also kill a mouse. Um, if you, if you aim for the, if you're facing the mouse, the left side, the left mantlet up here, right, right by the next to the turret. <clears throat> I, I was shocked actually. It has such a, a, a nice explosive round. Uh, I'll show it to you real quick. In case you don't even, you know, some people don't bother with this tank, and I, and I can see why. Um, 85 grams TNT equivalent. Um, although, once you get the fin stabilized round, it's we're talking serious. Like, we're talking a whole nother, a whole nother, I can't think of the word, a whole nother whatever. Whole nother, whole nother, bleh, mind blank. Uh, I'll let you know what I was thinking about <laughs> if it ever comes to me. Anyway, uh, let's get to the weak. Here's the weak parts of this tank. The armor, absolutely horrible. Um, SPAA will rip through this thing like no one's business. Uh, we're talking a knife through butter, a hot knife that is. And I've I've killed actually this with a, a a Kugel Blitz. I saw him and he was coming at about this angle, and I just started shredding him. Blah, 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 and he was dead. Um, I guess I was thinking of like th th it brings this gun to a whole another level. Uh, previously, that that for some reason I was blanking on that. Like I said, I haven't been sleeping very well, guys. Uh, let's see. Um. It's got decent movement. Its treads are a little thin for my liking, to be honest with you. Uh, just a comparison. The the. This is like a quick, somewhat agile tank, and its tread is quite substantially bigger. But this is a very hard tank to spot. As the, I've been killed by this tank before, and I I literally don't see it. Like you can, sort of maybe make these out these little whatever they are. I'm not sure what these are I'm not like a super tank aficionado I can't tell you every what every part means or whatever but I play the game a lot and I know that like I think what people tend to notice is the is these little things sort of like what's on the t10 uh, you just can you know certain markers the t10 has certain markers that I, I recognize with uh, the t62 as well um, I don't always spot the T29. I was in this tank, and I, I had a clear shot on a T29, and I thought it was a Pershing. So I sometimes do get confused in the heat of battle. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take this out and see what we can get with this first game. I'll probably die instantly, but it is what it is. Um, it is a crappy, this is a pretty crappy lineup. Um, but unless I'm top tier, if I if if it doesn't go above six seven, it's it's okay, it's tolerable. This thing, I don't think I'm gonna really use this. Um, 
but I'm doing it just for the modifications um, to help towards the object 906. For some reason, in past videos, I've called it the objects, I think, 76 sometimes. I just want to say it looks like the PT-76, so I just say it without thinking about it. But let's just go ahead and... I've used a lot of my golden eagles here to to actually I um I unlocked oh yeah you know what I beat the time I did it guys I um bought the ASU eighty five on sale it was fifty percent off I only paid like three hundred and five thousand or something for it something like that something close to that um, it costs more to actually crew and then expert crew it which I haven't done because I'm not sure it's worth it yet um basically um I'm basically putting the tank through its trials and tribulations and seeing if I like it the uh, the reason I don't like it is simply because if you're spotted you're pretty much dead like it does not bounce it doesn't really bounce shit I mean, let's be honest so you have to play it so safe it's basically like a, the bigger brother of the ASU 57 except it's not tiny so you know, I'm glad they fixed the uh, velocity of the gun. Because I wasn't going to buy it. I test drove it first. And I was like, oh, you know what? They, they changed something. I saw uh, Slick take this out. I saw Slick be take this out. And when he went to aim, it was very it was very screwed up. Hold on a sec. I got to change my... All right, there we go. So he would aim through the tank, and um, I think they changed the scope because now it's it basically looks like a British scope. It's where uh, the velocity is, you know, it's decent. You can pretty much, you don't have to lob shots. But when I swear that when I saw him playing, he was shooting very strangely and he was very inaccurate with this gun. But I, I hit stuff with it fine. So I do believe they changed stuff. Oh God, T29 guys, like I said, um, if I remember properly to where to shoot them is in the, well, me facing them left uh, mantlet. It can, it can one shot them from what, I, what, what I've heard. I'm talking a little hyper, I admit, because I just had a Red Bull, but I'm trying to have like this energy that I normally don't have. I usually I'm just like, yeah guys, what's up? You know, yeah. But let's just uh just stick to the game plan here. Oh, I see tracks. I do see tracks. I wonder if somebody came that way. Trying to play. Oh. I wonder if I could get away with this. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Ooh, I did see somebody. Oh, he died. I was actually going to shoot. Okay. This is so, so risky. Holy shit. That's a T-92, baby. He's like, what? I say, oh, that's a bummer. Daggy mo. I don't know what that guy says, but. Damn it. That might be a situation where it's like an overpen. Yeah, someone's over there by A. Oh. I'm looking for the the flanking might start soon. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there they go. They're flanking around that that way. I know the Americans' habits because I play them en enough. So I know I know what the Hellcats are gonna do. Oh shit! Well, that's a surprise. That could be a surprise. We don't want that. 
We don't want none of that. Uh, reported. Not sure what that guy's talking about, but it is what it is. Yes. Ooh, a T28. Just don't go for me, dude. So basically, the best way to play this tank, sadly, is to wait. Basically, uh, pick a spot and wait. Because, I mean, honestly, I want to move in and I want to just keep on the move. But against the Americans who love to push, 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 it would serve my greater interest to uh, basically just sit here. There we go. We have a, a Tiger 2 down. A big Tiger 2 down. A big guy. But yeah, I mean. T29. Doing its business. I wanted a T29. I did. I wanted to buy one, but it never went on sale like I thought it would. Um, man, I don't know where these guys are. I need to start paying attention. I really do want to face the T, my, ne my nemesis T29. In this tank, it's my nemesis, but... I don't see anybody. I don't, I don't know where that T29 is. I'm hearing noises. That's, that's, okay. Somebody's in front of me. I just saw smoke. Shiza. M26. See, that's the Pershing. Now, the Pershing dies instantly. That's no problem. That's no problem whatsoever. He tried to flank that Tiger, too, apparently. But, yeah. Uh, now, if that was a T29, I don't think it would have died. Really don't. Oh shit! Yeah, there's a tank. There's a tank right on the other side of me. That's the T29. Shit. I swear, people aren't paying attention. Like, you know, there's a tank uh, over there somewhere. So he's either gonna come back. Yep, like I said. Undamaged. That's got to be the T29. Absolutely. Holy. That's all she wrote, guys. That's all she wrote. I don't have uh, parts or fire extinguisher. Leave the vehicle. T29. Yep. I told you. It's trolly. It's very trolly. Maybe I can kill it from above. Let's see. I hope this video wasn't boring for you guys, but uh, I kind of wanted to, you know, for once, like, actually talk about the tank, how it performs. I, obviously, as you could see, I killed the Pershing, what, you know, no problem whatsoever, and I could barely see the Pershing. It was just basically a point and click. Uh, I didn't pay attention to where I hit it. Yeah, T, exactly. Exactly. So, I, I was aiming for the bottom of the T-29, where I've seen a glaring weakness in the past, and it it did nothing. I, I don't... And it didn't bounce, either. It fully absorbed it, which makes no sense. Like, there's a difference between bouncing, where you see the shell... You literally see the shell bounce. That's fine, you know? Like, the angle was wacky, so you bounced. Whoa! Good, take that guy out. Oh, Jesus. He's over here somewhere. That's not it. That thing's dead. I nailed somebody. Jeez, there's a guy at A. Alright, I'll go I'll go all the way to A. Whoa. I think 
I'm okay, right? Yeah. All right, everything's good. I mean, I'm trying to like set him on fire, which is possible, but what the? Now he's gone. Jesus, Christopher. No one's getting A though. Why is that? Whoa, look at that, that was weird. Oh my god, I've never I've never flown around the map this much without like spotting vehicles. Because I'm going where there there we go. Finally something to shoot at. Oh yes. Don't mean squat. Oh, there is a little friendly little tank. All right. The guy lost him. Son of a. Yeah, I'm loopy, guys. Oh, or he, or he went to hide. Dude, get A, guys. Come on, man. There's enough people. Full rain. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nail that song, bitch. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I can't, I can't see it. It's in the shadows. He's hiding. probably gonna go in that building right there. Let's see if he does. He wants to hide. Oh, got a crit. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Holy shite. Oh my lord. And I'm 36. I have no cannons though, guys. I got a hit, holy shit. Dude, what is up with our team, dude? Alright, I gotta I gotta J out. There is there's just no time. Like I'm either gonna go for the spot and make it or we're gonna lose, so I'm sure I'm gonna go get killed, so obviously there's some T twenty nine hiding about. I don't know why. I just don't know where they are. Whoa, dude. Okay, he's de he's definitely hurt from that. All right, let's go for the weak spot on the sides. Oh my God, that's so trolly. Can you fucking believe it? And then one shot it. Yeah, 229, big 229. Yep, yep, yep. All right, guys, take it easy. I had fun. I was gonna say, some don't seem right. So yeah, anything can go through this. It's got a uh, a big slope. It honestly, it does. I don't see how that really does anybody any justice, unless somebody's trying eight to you know use APCR, which is like the worst uh, rounds in the world practically. <clears throat> really, this thing is just it has it has such very little armor. It just 
it's so weak. I don't think I've actually bounced anything in, like off this tank yet. I think when I get shot, I die. So unless someone hits you at a crazy angle and deflects it like this, pion, pion, they they just hit you like there's so much spots. Like I mean, there's so much space. There's so much space and there's so many spots that you can die from. So you know maybe it'll deflect off this top piece, but you know there's just so much. I don't know, guys. I mean, I really don't know. It's, it's up to you guys to make your conclusion. You've seen me kill a Pershing in one shot. That's cool. But then I I hit the T-29, who only God knows where it hit him. I thought I was going for the lower, lower glacius here, however you pronounce that. Uh, and nothing happened. It just went boink. I fully absorbed it. Uh, let's see what the values that tank are real quick and then i'm gonna let you go because i'm boring myself even let's preview it look at this see the armor values okay now if you go by this armor value i wasn't that far away no reason i shouldn't have gone right through this but it's weird look at the way it just i don't know let me zoom in a little bit it doesn't really look standard. It looks like... Yeah, it's got like ridges. It's just so trolly. Whoa, dude. What does that mean? Effective thickness? Yeah, because it's, it's, it's got these weird curves even there. So... Now, he, the, the weak spot is said to be right here. But, I mean, really? Are you kidding me? Like, I don't have any, I don't have an aimbot, guys. Am I really supposed to aim for that up there? Without dying? And without his gun moving, I mean, come on. Everybody says, oh, it's got a glaring weakness. Yeah, but the dude, that's if he's dead stopped and he's just stand, if he's just sitting there. That's one thing. But I shot somewhere around here and it got fully absorbed. It didn't deflect off. It didn't bounce. It just went doink right in there and went nothing. Uh, and I hit up here, yes. I penned. But then I hit this back section. And it's also, look at this, it's also rounded in a strange way, so my shot bounced off the back, so you don't want to hit there either. This is really where you want to hit it. Um, if it's turning, it's like right here. It sh that should kill it. But some guy was saying in game that he, he shot up there and it just it didn't die, so. All right, guys, till next time. Uh, I'll probably make another vid on, on this tank if I do really well with it, but it's really hard to do well with it. Later.